October, the month of merriment. The Lord says that October will be the month of merriment, but there will be no escape for those who have done evil deeds and who have not repented. For those who have walked in my light and are part of my kingdom, I will release my fresh anointing. It will be like a rebaptizing of my Holy Spirit, my Holy Ghost power. The earth will tremble at the sound of my voice coming through my prophets and apostles. They will be joined together in the unison of my power and my love. Death will not be able to overtake them, for I am positioning now men and women who are as yet not known on the world stage, but I have been preparing them for many years. They shall behold me and they shall exalt my holy name throughout the earth. They will come to me on bended knees in such humility and their only desire is to see me and my will to be implemented in the earth. They place me above all else and do not want to take any of my glory for themselves as they are tried and true servants who bring honor to my holy name. The rumblings that are taking place in the earth right now will increase and increase, and my plan for redemption for mankind will be so appealing to them that they will run into me to be safe and secure in my kingdom of love, joy, and peace. Look up, beloveds, when I expose the evil and the corruption in high places, not only in America, but all over the earth, and nations will rise against nations, and there shall be turmoil all around. But only in me will man have peace, the peace that is in me. I will extend to the homeless, the forlorn, and the lost. Even people in high places will be bewildered and not be able to understand what is going on but only those who I have marked as my own will understand and will be able to reach out to those caught up in turmoil and they shall bring them to me and they shall know them and they shall then know the peace that passes all understanding and the love that I have for all mankind. Then they will have some understanding of my everlasting love, the love that took me to Calvary it was for all mankind that I suffered and died, but so many millions across the universe have not wanted to know me or my great and everlasting love I have for all mankind. And the Lord said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men who sigh and cry for the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. And to the others he said in mine hearing, Go ye after him through the city and smite. Let not your eyes spare, neither have ye pity. Beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trial which is to try you, as though some strange thing happened unto you, for only those who have endured the trials of their faith will be prepared and ready to bring in the harvest. So many are self-willed, self-centered, caring for no one but themselves and have not looked to me or for me. Those days are almost at an end for I am going to crash through Earth's atmosphere with a sound like roaring thunder and with my mighty power and force, and no man will be able to withstand it. I cry out to the lost yet again, and if any man hears my voice and comes into me, he shall be saved and learn to walk in my ways. In the earth in the near future, men will run to and fro, not knowing what to do. It is then that they will respond to the Good Shepherd who longs for the lost sheep. I shall arrest them by my mighty power 
and they shall be filled with my love, my power and my strength. They will come to know me and the great love that I have for each one. Hearts that have been like stone will smash in a moment and they shall cry out to me and want to know how they can escape the torment and be saved. There is coming such upheaval in the earth, greater than man has ever seen, and people will be so fearful, so shaken, running here and there, seeking salvation, peace and safety, and the rocks will fall on them if they do not repent and turn to me. But we know that the judgment of God is according to truth against those who practice such things. And do you think this, O oh man, you who judge such things and do the same, that you will escape the judgment of God? Or do you despise the riches of his goodness, forbearance and long suffering, not knowing that the goodness of God leads you to repentance? It is my love that will break open the stony hearts and they shall melt before me because of the great outpouring of my love and forgiveness. They as yet know nothing of repentance and my forgiveness and they will be ashamed of their self-centred and evil lifestyles, of the greed and jealousies, endeavouring to be greater and higher than those around them. I know the evil thoughts and ways of the unsaved, but because of my Father's great love, all will be changed. My Father knows all things and has given all things into my hands. Judgment will come upon man if he does not repent and come to me. No one can know the Father except through me, and it is only by becoming mine entirely will they know fulfilment, peace and joy and become captives to me and my Father's love. Centuries have come and gone by when millions have perished without any knowledge of the gospel and my great love for mankind. I subjected myself to the torture and shame of Calvary's cross. Their eyes shall be opened in a moment of time and they shall behold me. They shall fall at my feet in sweet surrender to my will and my great love. I have a divine plan for each one, and as they come into my love and my kingdom, I shall send them forth to bring others to me. Their amazement will be so profound, and then they will begin to understand, and they will shout for joy, and then will begin to understand something of the trap that the enemies had them ensnared in, and will look back and see darkness they have been snatched out of. Great will be the revelation that I will extend to the new converts and the breaking down of the barriers that have kept them from me. They will begin to understand the great conflict that their souls have had to endure. Some have been stubborn and extremely rebellious, but my love and the light of my word, that will sear through them like a hot iron, breaking down the barriers that has kept them from me. I say to my own, stand up and be counted. Stand up for my truth and my righteousness and my love. Stand up for my gospel of light and love and let your light shine forth into the darkness and snatch the lost out of the clutches of the evil one forever. It is time, beloveds, to make your stand for me and be not afraid of those who have no understanding of my kingdom. And they will mock and ridicule you for the time is fast approaching when my power will crash down upon them. There shall be weeping and wailing and gnashing of teeth. I know the heart of each one of my own, and I know the ones who have proven their loyalty to me, even through the darkness and difficulties of these days and days past. You have passed the test, and now I shall promote you, for you are trained up and ready for my service. 
my glory cloud will come down and rest upon you and you shall be caught up in my glory and my glory shall overtake you. Have I not said that my glory I would not give to another and even my own will be amazed and will be so filled with my love and my joy and that it will change the atmosphere all around me. Did I not say that I've closed the curtains on everything old and that I would do a new thing? So new will be the ways of my spirit being outpoured that you must be ever ready to go forth at my command. You will do unusual things in unusual ways and in unusual circumstances never before seen by any man. Do not draw back from my new ways, beloveds, or from one to another, but keep your eyes on me at all times and not on what is going on around you. I will position you in unusual places, doing unusual things, not ever done before, but be not afraid and allow my Holy Spirit to have complete control lest you miss your awards of service. I am now forewarning you of what is to come, even though as yet you do not understand it, for everything will be different, and my church will come together in unity, power and love. You shall be known because of my love throwing you through you and spreading out to the lost and broken ones who have lost hope of a better life and future. My army shall go forth in unison, surrounded by multitudes of my holy angels, and victory is assured if you keep your eyes focused on me, and none shall thrust the other through, but shall walk in love one for another. There has never been a time like this time, for the glory that I am bringing you into will be life-changing and you will never walk back from me because of the new things that I will bring you into. A glorious time, a time to triumph, a time to shout the victory and your enemies shall be scattered. You have been born for such a time as this and not one will fall from my hand. I shall possess my own in ways not known before, and victory, victory, victory will be your cry. To those who have exalted themselves and who are full of pride and self-works, I shall bring it all to dust. And if they do not repent and turn from their wicked ways, they shall be seen no more in the public arena. All the glory is mine and I have handpicked my true servants, and they have chosen me above all else. They have paid the price during the hard training and testings. You therefore must endure hardship as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. No one engaged in warfare entangles himself with the affairs of this life in order that he may please him who called him to be a soldier. They are not ashamed of the gospel and will be used mightily in this great outpouring that will soon be upon you. Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised in the city of our God on the mountain of his holiness. Beautiful for situation, the joy of the whole earth is Mount Zion on the sides of the north the city of the great king.